Read your twist. Good morning, my beloved students. This is teacher Mustafa. And today we're going to have the last two periods of the reading story today. So this unit is generally talking about what, Muhammad Magdi? Uh, pets. About pets. Pets are adorable, right? Uh, some. Yeah, they keep you company. For some people, for some people, uh, it's cute, but for others, they keep you company. They are your companions if you're alone, right? Yeah. And they are edible if you're hungry, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, this one especially. No. <laughs> the one, the one, the one that's only uh, edible uh, is the rabbit. Okay, only so the, the who's our pet people. for our story? Who's our pet? Uh, the rabbit. The rabbit. Yes, very good. Hamza Husni. Yes, master. Can you tell me what is the genre? Uh, what is the genre of our story? Realistic fiction. What is the meaning of realistic fiction? Uh, something that is not real. Is not real, but could happen. Happen in real life. Very good. Mr. Very very good. Hamza oh, Ahmed. I'm here. Hamza Ahmed? I'm here. Okay, can you please tell me what's in the realistic fiction? What are the elements, the steps there? Huh. Yes, the elements or the steps. The first one is... Huh. Uh, there are five things. Huh. First thing is climate. No. Uh, okay. Introduction. Very good. It has three things. What does it have? Uh, introduces characters, settings. Uh, sitting and uh, conflict. And the conflict. Very good. Thank you very much for that. Malik hey. Banna. Yeah, After the introduction, uh, give me two things. Rising action. The rising action. Very good. What else? Uh, wait a second. Uh, also. Uh, also, Mr. After the rising action climax. The climax. What is the climax? Uh, is the turning point of the conflict. Very good. The turning point of the conflict or the most interesting part of the story. Very good. Muhammad Walid, let's jump. What's after that? Uh, 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 hello, Mr. Hello. After the conflict, what do we find after the climax? Sorry. Oh, uh, uh, falling action. The falling action. Very good. Then what? Then uh, the conclu uh, yes. uh, conclusion. Yes. The conclusion. Very, very good, Muhammad Wadi. Very good. Thank you very much for your help. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. So here, guys, in this page, we have highlighted the characters, the setting, and the conflict. Don't forget that. Here in this page, we highlighted the characters, the setting, and the conflict. So that means that in this part, so in page 58 and 59, we call this the what? Use a few three. Uh, we call the part of the story that has the characters, the setting, and the, the conflict. We call it what? The introduction or the rising action or the climax? Huh? What do we call it? Uh. 
uh, try to think the part that has the characters, the setting, and the conflict. We call it the introduction or the rising action or the conflict. Introduction. Very good, Yusuf, you three. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We call this part, thank you, Yusuf. We call this part the introduction. Very good. Then we have the rising action, which are actions that happen in the story that finally lead to the climax. Actually, now we're still in the rising action where the story is still building, building, building towards the <clears throat> towards the uh, conflict. Okay. The rising action is the body. Yes, the rising action, you know, all of them is the body, uh, you know, except for the conclusion and the introduction. Okay. So let's start here at page 64. Mm -hmm. Now, before we start, let's read the question. Underline sentences that imply what Katya thinks of Pip. So we have to underline sentences that imply or show what Katya thinks of Pep. Okay, let's read 41 together. At the start of each week, Mrs. Webster always asked who had something to share about their weekend. There wasn't much big news. One kid had gone to nearby amusement park and a girl in the back had taken a trip with her grandparents in their big RV. Mrs. Webster turned to Katya and how about you, Katya? Any new foster critters? We got a rabbit, Katya said flatly. At that, half the room started to cool. Oh, a bunny! I love bunnies! They're so cute! Well, she's just a borrowed bunny, Katya said. We only have her for a little while until the rescue agency finds her a permanent home. So here guys, how does search in 41 and 42 for a sentence that shows how Katya talks about or thinks about Pip? You have two minutes to start finding it. When you find it, send it on the chat box. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're talking about Katya's feelings, not the other kids' feelings.
Okay, great. So let's ask Bilal. Huh? Now, what do you think Hello. the sentences, or just one sentence that Katya thinks of Pip? What's Katya's emotions to Pip? Huh? We got a rabbit, Katya said flatly. Very good. We got a rabbit, Katya said flatly. Now, what is the meaning of the word flatly? Like straight up. Right. Yeah. Does she care though? Nah, not, not that much very good so when someone says something flatly so he's not interested in that in that thing right Bilal or what do you think guys yeah yes very good so yeah, yeah I just got a rabbit yeah yes she does she just you know she's not that interested in mm -hmm. the rabbit if she had interest in that rabbit, she said oh my god guys we had a rabbit it's so soft it's so amazing. And one time it tried to run away and I caught it and she would be excited. But she said, we got a rabbit. So it shows that she's not even a little bit interested in that rabbit. Let's complete okay. reading because there's another also sentence. To, uh, to pick. Yes, there's another sentence that we have to find. Oh, is she snuggly? Is she soft? The cooing continued, remembering the feel of Pip's wriggling body in her hands. Katya had to admit, yes, she is soft, all right, but she didn't comment on the snuggly business. Eh? <laughs> At lunchtime, Katya's friend, Max, plopped down across the table. My aunt has a rabbit, she said, and she likes bananas. Your aunt likes bananas? No, goofball. Her rabbit likes bananas, fresh bananas, but you've got to peel them and those dried up banana chips. <clears throat> Maybe you should see if your borrowed bunny likes bananas. So here in this part from 45 to 48, there is also some words of Katya, which are about Pip. They also imply what Katya thinks of Pip. You have another two minutes to find it. What did Katya say here in paragraphs 45 to 48 about Pip? Some words here show Katya's feelings. Okay, your both classes are on fire. Everyone knew the answer. This is absolutely great. Who's there? 
I am surprised that nobody is there. Come on, Moaz. Tell me the answer, please. Uh -oh. Okay, yes, she stopped. All right. But she didn't comment on the snuggle me business. Very good. So Katya said that she stopped, but she didn't comment on the snuggle business. This also shows or implies how she thought of, huh? How she thought of whom? Uh, how she uh, thought of? Who? Yeah, Katya yeah, thought of? Uh, the snuggly business. The rabbit, teacher. Yes, very good. How Katya thought of Pip, the rabbit. Yeah. Yes, very good. Here, we have a new vocab. It's snuggly. snuggly. Uh, it's soft and comfortable. Very good. Soft and comfortable. Very good. Also, snuggly means? Uh, cuddly. Cuddly. Very good. Very, very good. That means that you love to cuddle it. Very good. Let's go to the next page, though. As you can see, this is uh, Max sitting down next to Katya. Okay. Mister. Calling Mister. her goofball. <laughs> yeah. Mister, Mister. Yep. Uh, is Peter Rabbit a uh, realistic fiction? What is it? No, it's pure fiction. Fiction. Okay. Uh, can animals talk? Uh, absolutely not. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. After school, Katya told dad what Max had said. I thought rabbits only liked vegetables, you know, carrots and lettuce and celery, he said. I think we got a couple of bananas in the kitchen. Why don't you give it a try? Katya peeled the banana and broke off a small piece. She had her doubts, but she went to the pen and held the bit of banana through, uh, through uh, here, though the wild great anyway. Here it should be through. After a moment, she poked her head out of the cardboard box her nose twitching madly at the scent of the fruit. Come on, it's all right, Katya whispered. With an irritated stomp, Pip ducked back into her cardboard box. Katya dropped the piece of banana and said, fine, you win. Maybe you'll decide you want it later. Let's go here, here, here. Hmm. Now, underline details that show the conflict between what Katya wants to do and what she does. I will read the question again. Underline details that show the conflict between what Katya wants to do and what she does. Nobody in the family saw her do it, but Pip eventually ate the banana. Every afternoon from then on, Katya put another bit of banana in the pan. And just like clockwork, every morning it was gone. Katya started thinking of it as game they played. She and this rabbit that didn't like her still she would sit and talk to Pip's cardboard box every morning, telling Pip about things she did with her friends, about the books she was reading, and about what happened at school. One afternoon, while she was telling Pip about a funny thing that had happened in gym class, the rabbit suddenly nosed her way out of the cardboard box. When Pip hopped over to the banana and started eating, Katya wanted to jump up and down with excitement, 
But she made herself stay calm. She knew that if she reacted as if something unusual was happening in any way, really, Pip would stop eating for sure. Although she tingled with joy, Katya casually finished the gym class story, then starting then started talking about a new book. Here, started, not starting. About a new book she had gotten from the library. You'd love it, Pip, she said in her, in her smoothest voice. It has all kinds of animals in it, but I'm only a few chapters in. So, don't know if there's a rabbit just yet. So here, from this paragraph, paragraph 54, I need a conflict between what Katya wanted to do and what she actually did. You have three minutes to do so. Teacher, I have the answer. Almost everyone, if you write it in the chat, I will tell you, is it correct or not? Okay, so we need Yusuf Khalid to tell us the answer. Yes, Master. Uh, okay, it's when Pep hopped over to the banana and started eating, Katya wanted Where to Where is the answer? Give me the answer directly. Katya wanted to jump up and down with excitement, but she made herself stay calm. Very good. She made herself stay calm. That's one thing. Very good, huh? Because yeah. what is the reason for that, Yusuf? Uh, uh, the uh, hooked over to the banana. Because Sorry. if she did that, 
Uh, the the pep uh, will stop eating. Pep will stop <laughs> eating from the banana. Food. Very good. Guys, this part alone is correct. Here, this part alone and all of it is also correct. Because she wanted to do two things. She wanted to jump up and down, but she didn't. She made herself calm. Oh. Now we have a new vocabulary here. What is it? <laughs> Let me ask Muhammad Ahmad. What is this word, please? What? Here, on the left. Yeah, uh, tingle. Tingle. What is the meaning of tingle? Means. Uh, Felt ex excitement. Excitement. Felt very good. She was very excited. Yes, very good. So she felt excited with joy. Let's read 55 and 56. Mr. Close with the mic. Yes, please. Thank you. Pip finished the banana and gazed at Katya. Slowly. She turned and hopped back toward the box. Katya's heart sank, but then Pip turned and looked at her steadily. Then back at the box, then back to Katya. What is it, Pip? Katya asked. Is there something wrong with your box? Huh. And let me ask Abdurrahman Hussam. No, mister. Do you think that there's something wrong with uh, Katya's box? Uh, yes. Okay. So, Iyad. Yeah, are you here? Yes, yes miss. Do you think that maybe now, maybe now, little Pip likes yes. Katya? Yes. How do you know? Hmm? How do you know that she likes it? That she likes her or it likes her? Hmm. Is it Dean, are you here? Hamza Akram. Hello. Sup? Hi. What do you think is going to happen next? Is Pip going to attack Katya again? No, most likely not. If you trust enough, her enough to come outside, uh, I don't think she's going to attack her again. So uh, don't you think that she's just gaining her trust to run away from the house to trick her? Yeah, but likely Katya's definitely not going to let her out anytime soon. Yeah, but do you believe that Pip is doing so just to gain Katya's trust to let her roam in the house, then she flies outside or, you know, runs outside? No, I think she's going to show her something in the box. I don't know what it is. Show something in the box. Yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll get to know this next period on, on uh, suspense music. So stay tuned for the next uh, period. <laughs> I'm just pretending. I already read the whole entire story. Okay, so pretending. thank you very much for this amazing time that you spent with me. I really love you guys, and I hope to see you again. And to be continued. See you guys. I love you. Bye. Love you all. Bye.